That was a bit weird. Better <laughs> food, dude. Better, yeah. food, <laughs> better food and better <laughs> hotels. Better yeah. hotels, just be, you know, better traveling. Everything. It's, it's a whole other world. Yeah. And how, how have people been reacting to you? And you know, after after seeing the movie and all love, yeah. right? Steady love. Massive amounts of it. Right. Well, people tell, feel like they already know us. Yeah. Let's yeah, tell, yeah, tell yeah. them about Michael Moore and what that was experience was like. Well, that was amazing. We got to play the uh, his a theater. The same, t- t- the gig happened in the same place as the theater. Yeah. And even the, when the uh, when the credits rolled, everybody was already on their feet. They were, they were like they were pl- in the same yeah, yeah, yeah. a blank, like a blank screen. 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 Okay. And then they pulled the blankets off the drum set, and I went running up the aisle. And <laughs> I mean, eighty-year-old men going. <laughs> and and then it, was, it was so loud you couldn't yeah. even hear the band. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He, Lip said it's the first time he's ever not been able to hear his own band because of the screaming. So it's serious, Michael Moore. Yeah, it was really. Yeah, it was. It was. Surreal. I got a call from so Michael surreal. Moore. I got a call from Michael Moore. I could hardly hear Moore, him. Yeah, Michael Moore is at the side of the, of the stage, headbanging. Nice. And he's calling me on the phone, going, "You won't believe. I've never seen anything like it." He said, "I've got a thousand kids stamping and cheering for this band and this movie. I've never seen anything like it." Yeah. I mean, the the, the ending of the movie is just such a. Uh, just you know, it's just such a cathartic kind of thing with all the eleven thirty a.m. and you thought yeah, the Japanese well, going yeah, crazy. It was quite an experience yeah. in this day because we really didn't know what was going on. Yeah, we yeah, thought yeah. we we just, were just I mean, as the crew, we were just like, wow, this is going to be a really really sad film. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, we didn't know that was the ending quite then. But then when they all came, it was just like we all kind of actually got we we sort of. It was really uh, yeah, we were really just elated beyond yeah. description. So I showed the crew found out. A little bit so ahead of time, yeah. that there was actually a queue of people a few blocks away. Everybody thousands, thousands of people. Thousands of people but so. he didn't tell us, and we were still going. You know what? If there's a couple thousand people there, it's going to be great. But five hundred, there's going to be five hundred people at least. This is going to be great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we walked out and saw that and went, "Oh my god!" Because like, they're very fuck. quiet. The place we, is packed. We were led behind here. curtains and downstairs and stuff, and. You know, a, a crowd usually you hear a murmur. A bit. It's yeah. Japanese. They're very quiet. Yeah. So they're all like waiting. So you walk out, there's 20,000 people patiently just <laughs> waiting. Ah! Yeah. It was yeah. crazy. It was the best. It was That was the single best moment of making the movie. Right. Was, was seeing the, was that a response. A highlight energy wise. Because when yeah. we knew at that point that that was the end of the film, and we knew that it was going to be magic, and we knew that finally, after all this, someone was going to give, someone remembered, someone cared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. People remembered us. It was, it was and really they haven't been back there in 26 years. But I always wanted it to have a sort of happy ending. So when the Japanese thing happened, it was almost like it was like a God-given. Because I I I said I said to them at the beginning, it's I said, like a miracle. I said, wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't it be amazing if it ended in Japan and, we and it was laughed. packed out <laughs> just because I, I knew I wanted to open with the Japan footage. Yeah, yeah and, yeah. and then it happened. Yeah. And like people have said to me, well, you know, did you get twenty thousand people there? It's like, I you know, I don't have that power. I, I can't <laughs> afford. 200 Japanese extras, let alone 20,000. So it was the fact it was it felt like a miracle. Yeah. I mean, it, I don't know whether it was, but it felt as if yeah. the movie some, was some, a, some energy some force, force just, just. I mean, you feel the force of the film. There's magic to the film, yeah, and yeah, that yeah. is something that you could never make up. It's like if you're lucky, you get to witness it. Yeah. But you, you, you can't create that. Even ourselves at the at the end of a day or whatever, we're like, can you believe that happened just like that? Like yeah. with us, it's things just happen or don't happen it doesn't matter it's we just who are who we are but yeah. that that happened and the camera happened to be there today it was like uh, magic moments how many magic moments were there there was i mean yeah, endless, 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 endless magic just moments. never stopped